Hey guys, so I just finished a workout. Excuse the attire, but I wanted to talk real quick this morning about um, when people are trying to transition from taro over to linamon. And uh, I see people trying to say, oh, is this card uh, the same as the death card? Or is this card the same as that card? Um, even if, you know, trying to find, you know, get the dog card, which one is most like it? So they're, first of all, very different. But they're also each read very differently. I have several videos on this, but I wanted to kind of distill this down for you. So if you're reading tarot, you want to, like, know what the suit is, what the numerology is. Maybe there's an astrological thing in there, and, and you want to look at what's in the corner, what's in the back. The sunset means this. And you get all these things out of one card, right? And they're all in this one spread position, so it applies to that meaning. Like, what do I need to know today, or this is my past, or whatever that one thing is. Lenormand is different. So I want you to picture, when you look at one Lenormand card, uh, let's say we've got four cards laid out. Okay, blindfold yourself. Take a bite out of one. Wow, that tasted like a lemon. All right, stop. The second card, still blindfolded, take a bite out of it. That was an orange. Stop. The next one, try it. Hmm, that one was just water. It wasn't like either, just water. Okay, good. The next one, ooh, now that one was champagne. So you got four cards. One concept for each, okay? But they aren't read as one. So these four things would create something. Um, let's say, then what you gotta do is say like, ooh, lemon plus water. That's lemonade. The two things become one unit. Ooh, it's like orange juice and champagne. That was a mimosa, that was great. So, and, and you start like combining them so they become distilled down to one. So instead of going into one card and expanding it, you're taking multiple cards as an expanded unit and distilling it, bringing it down to like one concept or one sentence. So you're reading it like words. Boom, 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 boom. Just taste, 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 taste. You're not going to be sinking into it and looking at all the different aspects of it or what the image looks like and all this stuff. You're just going to, boom, scan across it, get one quick meaning. So if you're hovering over your cards a long time and trying to see, could it also mean this and could it also mean that? You're really kind of um, doing yourself a disservice as a reader because the, the system reads fast, like right across, you're done. All right, so if you're reading five cards, someone asks a question, you're doing five cards, you can probably get a couple sentences out of that. If the middle card is the, the concept card, the core card, and the ones in the side are different meanings. But you really don't, it, you could probably do it in a minute at the most. Um, if you're reading three cards and it's a yes, no question, just know if it's a yes or a no. So it doesn't go on and on. You might get one sentence why and you want to pay attention to the positive, negative, and neutrals. This is something most people forget, and I will have separate videos on that coming up next. But just boom, boom, boom. Get a taste of the orange. Get a taste of the champagne. Ah, those two together are a mimosa. Have yourself a great day.